talk about the medical system in Iqaluit. Bonjour, everyone. Fellow worker here, coming to you from Iqaluit, Nunavut, in Canada. Today we're going to jump right into the daily update, because you already know the topic. So today, the sun rose at 2.21 a.m. and set at 10.42 p.m. You can see the difference in the sky already. So that is 3 hours and 35 minutes of civil twilight and 20 hours and 25 minutes of daylight. And right now it's 7 degrees Celsius and feels like 7 degrees Celsius. You can obviously tell from what I'm wearing. There's barely a wind. Perfect. So whether you're thinking about moving here or you're just curious, what's the medical system like in Iqaluit? Well, we have a hospital. It's not a large hospital, but it's a hospital. There's an emergency room. Surgeries are performed there. I had a surgery on my knee. Now the wait list was fairly long, as it can be, and it was during the last few years when things slowed down a bit. So then I got my call and went in for my surgery and got physio afterwards. No charge. <laughs> There's also labs and ultrasounds. A lot of women from the communities come here to have their babies. You can also make appointments with a doctor. You can do day of appointments. You have to get up at 8 a.m. and head down to the clinic and sign up for the limited number of same-day appointments, but you can get one if you're there by 8 a.m. And if you are interested in an appointment in a few weeks, you can just call in and, like that, get an appointment. At that appointment, you can get lab work and you know blood work, and you can get referrals. So if they refer you to a specialist that comes to Nunavut once or twice a year, then you'll just get on that waiting list. If the referral is of a more urgent nature, you will get medical travel down to Ottawa for your appointment with the specialist. If it's really urgent, life-threatening, they will medevac you down to Ottawa. So, just a short video today. I just wanted to quell any fears you might have if you're thinking about moving here, about the medical system. It's different in the communities that are much smaller. They don't have hospitals. They might have small medical centers or a nurse. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm in the capital city, and so we do have those services. So, Thinking about what I'm going to do, I thought I could talk about maybe what's it like with the 21 hours of darkness. You know, I'm showing you all this and it's wonderful. So what's the 21 hours of darkness like? But I also could talk about, it is so quiet here at times. And that's really allowed me to hear parts of myself that I was unable to hear in a more populated area. And that is a very good thing. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share this on your social media channels. We have a few more days coming and then the live stream. Hope to see you there. Fellow worker, over and out.